What's up Sunday, it's Guys here, hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I find bargain property deals in South Africa and how I build a large equity position from the first day of purchase. With that said, this is just something that I like to do. It's not necessarily the best way or the only way, but it is something that has been working very well for myself. I'm going to jump to my screen and show you guys exactly how I do it. So just bear with me for a minute. What I like to do is, is to search for a specific area and I like to look at the amount of properties available in that area. We can see here that in West Dean, there's around 223 properties available today. What I like to do is after a week or two weeks or let's say a month, I would like to compare this number to the number from today. So what I like to see is for this number to decrease. I want to buy in high demand areas and when this number decreases, it means that the demand for the area is big because people keep buying properties and the amount of listings go down but there's still demand for people to buy the property if this number goes up it means that there's a lot of supply which isn't necessarily a bad thing but most of the time it means that the demand for the area isn't necessarily the best next what i'll do is i'll change the order of the properties to the most recent and then i'll go and scroll down to the bottom and click on the last page the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see the properties that has been listed for a very long time. The longer the property has been listed, the more desperate the owner will be to sell. And this sounds very weird to say it out loud, but if I click on the last property or the oldest property, although this is not a property that I would be interested in at all, if I scroll down, we can see the listing date was 20 September 2016. So this is seven years ago. I'm not sure if this property is still available. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for property that I would probably make an offer on. And when I scroll around, I can actually see a listing that says reduced. And that's another tip that I like to focus on. If we look at the last or the oldest listings, we can see majority of them has a reduced label, meaning that the people has listed the properties for large amounts. And then later on, they had to reduce the price because no one made an offer or none of the offers went through. Um, there's a specific property. I actually went and viewed this property. Um, I made a video on a live stream about this property. And this is a commercial property um, situated in West Dean Bloemfontein. I wanted to convert it to student accommodation. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, it didn't work out and because of business rights and zoning issues. But with that said, if we scroll down and we look at the property listing date, we can see that this was listed for the first time in 6 November 2019. So that again is four years ago and the property is actually still available. This screams motivated seller. And this is what I like to focus on. So again, we can see that the property has been reduced. The property price has been reduced. It's been listed for four years. What I like to do is to make sure that the property passes my 1% rule. If you don't know about the 1% rule, make sure to check out some of my previous real estate videos. It's a rule that I use to quickly scan through deals. And it's simply your rental amount that you can receive divided by your property purchase price. In this example, it passed the 1% rule. So I phoned the real estate agent and I scheduled a viewing most of the time they will tell you listen the property is not available sorry and then I'll just move on to the next one luckily this one was available I knew that this was a motivated seller I knew the area I saw that it was listed for a very long time the price was reduced so this is the ideal place to make a low offer on the next step that I do to make sure that I am buying a property at a discount is to draw a property valuation report on TPN. This is a report that I draw on each and every property that I consider making an offer on and it shares information like property information, comparable sales, area demographics, area prices, as well as area rentals. For this video, we are going to focus on the property value. And this is something that I love to use because it shows us an estimated value, a market low and a market high. 
Most of the time, people list their properties above the market high because they want to sell the property for as much money as possible because they obviously have to pay an agent fee and sometimes even taxes. So they obviously want to sell it for as high as possible. And we as investors should know this because it gives us some bargaining power. What I like to do is, is to make an offer on the market low and most of the time even below the market low. So in this example, the market low is a million and 50,000 rand. I actually went and made an offer of a million rand but at the end of the deal like I said it didn't go through if we bought this property for a million rand we immediately created around 270,000 rand of equity because we bought it at a discount and most people would say it's impossible to buy properties at such a large discount but since I started, all of my properties was bought with at least a 10% discount, nothing less. Um, so it's definitely possible. Again, you need a motivated seller. Um, and, and that's the main thing. If you can get a property that is worth more and buy it for less, you make money. You make your money the first day you buy your property. With that said, um, I wanted to show you something else with this specific property. If we scroll up on the same page, we can see that exact property was listed for 1.795 million Rand. Let's say 1.8 million Rand. This property was actually under offer, meaning that someone made an offer on this property close to whatever this price was at that time. Even if they had a 20% discount, they were still overpaying for this property right what I like to do is again look at the market high and if I bought the property at a market low I will go and register the property above its market high instead of registering the property at 1.27 million rand I would go and register it a rule of thumb that I use is normally around 100,000 rand above the market high but in this example we can do 1.4 million rand at the end of the day, I'll spend around 20, let's say 20 to 50,000 Rand to renovate or rehab the property, maybe like painting the walls, doing some general maintenance, making sure that the property itself is in a good condition. And then after six to 12 months, I will refinance the property to get access to the 400,000 Rand equity. This sounds so easy to do. Um, and it is a very simple way to look at it. Unfortunately, it is not as easy as it sounds, but the idea is quite simple. Um, one thing that I have to mention is that the way that I showed this to you now is obviously simplified because I know about this property. I know where it's situated. I know that it's a motivated seller, etc. But what I like to do is I would literally go on my phone at night during the day when I have time to waste. I'll sit and scroll on property 24 and look through each and every deal, make sure that I can see what the property listing date is, make sure that I, um, I, I see a reduced label and by doing that I can identify potential deals. I'll save that deals to uh, my favorite page and then later on I'll phone all of the agents. I normally go and view around 50 properties, make offers on 20 properties and one or two gets accepted. Because what happens a lot of time is the owner has already sold the property or the owner doesn't want to accept the low offer. What I do is I move on because there will always be a new deal. I don't want to be emotionally attached to a specific deal and by doing this having the emotional intelligence to move on I constantly find new deals so with that said guys I hope this makes sense if there's some tips that you want to share with us in the comments feel free to do so I always like seeing the community that we build in the comments people answering each other's questions I really love that so if you have some tips or you just want to share your opinion about this video feel free to do so and I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.